Hello, it's a very rare cheap show video. So what's this? Usually, uh, we don't get much on cheap show that we can actually rave about and say, oh, that's amazing. But this in this box is amazing. It was sent to me uh, by a listener to cheap show who on Twitter is known as at Raven underscore elf. And I believe it's Jasmine Medieval Minis. It's the account number. You should definitely follow her because she's amazing. And what she does is she makes small things. And she's made me a small thing. So, do you have a look what's inside of it? Again, it's not really cheap show related, but I had to show this. Let's have a look. Oh, a little note. to say? Thanks for all the cool podcasts. Enjoy the mini. Cheers, Jazz. Thank you, Jazz. So, what is it? Let's have a little look got to be so delicate with this. Oh, I don't know if you can, yeah, can we get in close? Because if, if anyone listens to Cheap Show, or if anyone knows me in any way, they know I'm obsessed with the supernatural. Ghost hunting, Ghostbusters, I don't believe in ghosts, I need to always state that, but I do love a good bit of paranormal fun. Um, this uh, she made um, recently, and I saw, and I was just like, oh, I love it. I love it so much. Oh, God, I want it. Because she makes, midi I believe, for Dungeons and & Dragons and role-playing games, uh, Jazz makes mini things for them to play with. I'm not, because I'm not completely sure what Dungeons & Dragons is. I mean, I know what it is, but I don't know how deep it goes. Um, I don't know what all these little props are for, but if you do know, state them. And Jazz, if you're watching this, uh, again, correct me and tell me off accordingly. But look. She's made. It doesn't really quite fit into a remit of um, Dungeons and Dragons, Wizards and Warriors, all that kind of stuff. Dragons. It's it's slightly more kind of Victoriana uh, spiritualism of the late eighteen hundreds. But just look at it. It's tiny. I mean, look, look how tiny that is, and it's so beautifully detailed, so beautiful. And I love. I'm copying the Stuart Ashens thing now of using his hands to get into focus. But look at that. There's a little Crowley book. I believe that's Crowley. I'm probably wrong. It's so small. Little Crowley book. And um, just the detail, though, on this is beautiful. Just beautiful. There's um, some tarot cards there. Uh, another book. What does that book say on the front? It doesn't say, can't say. But there's loads of little things. A little, um, little jars, candles, and obviously uh, the crystal ball. In the middle there. Oh, and you can't really do much with this Google Pixel phone, but that's about as close as you're going to get, I think. But even that's beautiful. Now, the coup de grace of this is obviously the Ouija board, um, which was effectively, for those who want to know, was like a magic eight ball in its day. It was used at parties to figure out who you're going to marry and fall in love with, that kind of stupid nonsense. And then when the Knox sisters became popular with spiritualism, it developed into a way of communicating with the dead. I mean, it's effectively Scrabble. It's a Scrabble board that can speak to ghosts. There's nothing evil about it. I don't believe people can contact demons with it. And if they do, th then we have a different discussion on our hands. But what's beautiful about this is if I just put my finger under it ever so slightly and move, he says, dropping it instantly. But if I just move this little magnet underneath, you can see, oh, look at that. I've probably put it in the wrong direction now. But the little planchet's metal. And if I move the magnet around, I bet I've got it the wrong way. Yeah, I have it on the wrong way. You can actually get this planchet to move all by itself. It's amazing. It really is beautiful. I love it. So I was thinking, where am I going to put this? Oh, this little spooky planchet. Now, Jazz actually said, uh, Jasmine said that ever since she's made this, spooky things have happened. And I don't believe in ghosts, and I do not believe this is going to be anything spooky or demonic. But I do need to find a place for it where it will be safe, just on the off chance it is spooky. So where would I, where could I put this? It would be at home, it would be reasonably safe. Well, I was thinking, how about I put it in this? My Ghostbusters Lego house. So, <laughs> I need to find a place for it now. So let's open this bad boy up. Oh, God. God, this this place makes... I, every now and then I dip into my little firehouse and I rearrange all the Ghostbusters in different places. So look, there's there's Abby and there's Erin and Peter 
and Patty, and there's Lewis, and Janine, and uh, Egon's over there, and I think Ecto-2 bikes in there. There's the library ghost. Um, that's Havoc. I believe it's Havoc. I'm going to get corrected on that, but that's the demon anyway from uh, the reboot. Um, there we have uh, Kevin, Winston. Where's Holtzman? No, oh, there she is. She's in the lab. There she is. So there we go. So I thought the best place to put uh, my little uh, supernatural Ouija board thing would be in here somewhere. But where? Not in the kitchen. That makes no sense. I can't go in the in the in the lab really. So I'm thinking it might need to go up here somewhere, somewhere in the uh, break room and a uh, science lab. Um, so where do I put it? Could put it in there. There's no room in the bedroom because for some reason the beds take up half the space in that, and obviously don't want to stay with the librarian. So let's have a little look. What else? Hmm. Okay. Well, hmm. What I'm going to do is maybe move the Ghostbusters video game. Just for now. So look at that. So this 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 fucking thing rocks. I love this. It's one of my favourite things I've ever had. And I'm going to put this very very carefully. Just, just in there like that for now. Oh, the magnets come out. I would edit all this out, but frankly, I, I, there's no real point. There's no real point to edit that. There's no real point. So I'm just gonna, for now, put it in there, just very carefully, and that will do for now. Just for now, and then we'll maybe find a better place for it later. But I'm just gonna put that just by the window. Put the little planchet in there later. And we'll find a place for Lewis and his con and his video game because we don't want him being upset with that. But maybe you can look after that for the time being. You can you can contact the dead now. Is that all right? You can contact the dead. There we go. I tell you what, I'm going to put that just there. God, I hurt myself, bloody cat. Um, <laughs> so there we go. That's in there now for there, and we've got that. So I just wanted to say thank you so much. Jasmine, please check out her website. She's got an Etsy page. Go to her Twitter account at Raven underscore Elf and um, support her because she's doing damn fine work and what she's done is really, really kind. And I am so happy about it. So there you go. A little video, a little cheap show video uh, to celebrate that and show it off. And I love it so much. So there you go. I sign off. Oh, follow us at the cheap show pod on Twitter or listen to our podcast if you don't. I don't know why you wouldn't if you're watching this video anyway, but it's a good podcast. You should go check it out. Thecheapshow.co.uk. Or it's on Apple, Twitter. Oh yeah, you fucking know it. That's I've got to get I've got to work on my endings. <laughs>